Hello, long time no see. I'm determined to get back to posting regularly on my own channel here, and I thought I'd start with this fun Copic colored card featuring the adorable Wild Roar from Mama Elephant. To start, I stamped the Wild Roar herd, the birds and leaves onto white cardstock with Versafine, and heat embossed it with clear embossing powder. Then I got settled in with a cup of coffee and started coloring. To be honest, there's not going to be much talking today. I've had a few requests to show my coloring process and thought this would be a great stamp to share that. As you'll notice these days, I've gotten back to starting with the lightest color first, building to my darkest color, and then blending back out to the lightest. I keep that paper towel under my hand to make sure I don't accidentally transfer any oils from my skin to the cardstock. It took me about an hour to color everything, so of course I've sped that up quite a bit to shorten the video. I hope you enjoy watching my coloring, and if you want more details on the actual card, skip ahead to 16 and a half minutes. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below.
Once I'm done coloring, I die cut all the images with the coordinating wild drawer dies. Then I blend Salty Ocean, Blueprint Sketch, and Chipped Sapphire Distress Oxide Ink onto a piece of Strathmore Bristol cardstock. Once that's dry, I splatter it with water and blot off the excess. I also splatter it with chipped sapphire and blueprint sketch oxide ink I've smushed onto a palette and finish it with a few splatters of white gouache. While that's drying, I color in the background of my animal herd to match the oxide ink background. You could skip this step, but I feel like it really helps to bring everything together. I trim the blended background down and adhere it to a white card base. I add accents to my critters with a white gel pen and then adhere them to the background panel with foam mounting tape. I tuck in the greenery and add the birds with liquid adhesive. I also stamp a sentiment from the older Ella and Friends set onto black cardstock and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. I trim the sentiment down and adhere it to the card. And that's it! You can find links to my blog and all of the products I use in the YouTube description below. And if you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows you'd like to see more from me. Thanks so much for watching, and happy crafting. I'll be back soon. Bye!